Hi, I'm Adam C and welcome to my Cobra. Uh, mm. Cobra, I'm here on Easter Sunday. Uh, no, Easter Sunday at GT6 Ollie's house and we're going to head down to a classic car show. And the trouble with the classic car show is it's for pre-1990 cars. This is a 2005 car, so I don't know if they will allow me in, but let's see. So we're just going to drive down there and spend the day or the afternoon. It's coming up to two o'clock. Spend the afternoon there and see what else turns up. Parks up. Ollie is being that guy. He's put his. Should I? Yes. Oh, what a pair! I've just spotted your car up there. Oh uh, yeah, there it is. That's that's your car. Yeah. Why have you parked it up there? Uh, oh, you're back here again. That's good. <laughs> oh wait, no, you're there again. How are you doing this? Right, let's spawn it down and look around. Yeah. <laughs> right, Ollie, do you think my Easter egg's safe? Should I should I leave, take it with me? There we go, it's in view, but no one's going to stale it there. Right, where do we start? It's a bit like a car boot sale. Just kind of go up a strip, and down a strip, then up a strip. Just like Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Oh no, Ollie, I've been outdone. A oh, real, oh, a yeah. real AC. That's not good. AC Bristol. Real AC. Fake AC. Real AC. Real AC. <gasps> What's outside your car? <laughs> I'm glad I'm all the way up here because my handbrake isn't really, well, it doesn't, it doesn't work, it just doesn't. There's a cow! Moo. Moo. <gasps> Oi, Tessarossa. That's the one that sounds amazing. You know, is it? Oh yeah, it sounds amazing. It's got straight pipe. <laughs> When's the last time you saw an Opal GT? So this is the section for non-classic cars, and you've got this TVR Chimera. But funnily enough, my car is more modern than this Chimera. <laughs> but I'm in here. Check out the paint work on this car. What's that? Is it a Jaguar? It looks like a, it looks Jaguar, like a Jaguar, but it's also a Ute. And Jaguar didn't make a Ute. Granddad's little lorry. It is, it's a Jaguar Ute. <laughs> Capri with a body kit and a wing, massive wing. Oh look, it's like my Cobra. Blue white stripe. Uh, Ollie. Bezex. Bam, 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 bam. And a reverse of the Mustang, white with blue stripes. And this amazing rusty 100E Ford Anglia with a big bulge. <laughs> I love that spray can, rusty spray can on the car. Ooh, an MGB! Mini, 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 mini. I've seen this car before and I think it really should do with some mudguards. 
they would benefit it very well. So it looks like it sprays up into the driver's face. <gasps> Those tyres aren't legal. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> He's annoyed he spotted something. Is it a Mark II? It's a Mark I. It's a Mark I? Oh Mark one. no! Ollie's found the Mark I variant of his Mark III GT6. That's quite nice, Ollie. It's beautiful. That's lovely. And I like the uh, racing harnesses as well. Oh, he's got racing harnesses. Fire, fire extinguisher, Slightly different front end there. I think I prefer your front end, I'm not sure. No, I prefer this front end. It's got the chrome overriders on it. Although his bonnet latch isn't erect as well. Although look at that panel gap. That is a massive That panel is gap. a panel gap and a half. You could fit your... Yeah. And look at the rear of it. Still he's not got the nice. stag style rear. He's got the, right, the classic right, rear. All right, calm down. Oh, he's got the twin pipes as well, Ollie, as opposed to your single <laughs> down pipe glowing stuff all over my car. E-type. Austin Allegro police car. Whoop, whoop. He's even advertising. Oh, well, and he's just been on National Geographic with his GT6 and he's showing off about it. Yeah. Ollie's not jealous at all. And his one isn't erect either. Oh, yeah. Well, the focus is parts in the public car, but, but still wants to be noticed. Uh -oh. oh no. Uh -oh. oh no, get back. Hide. So, stocked up on chocolate, we're going to go to the exit to capture a few cars leaving for your enjoyment. Oh, look, there's a plane. Oh no. We must get to the departure lounge of the departure lounge before the cars get to the departure lounge of the departure the lounge. Departing, departing the so the departing the departure lounge before we can get to the departure lounge of the departure lounge. It's okay. We're at the departure lounge of the departure lounge. Oh! Go on, Peugeot. Yeah. There's a dog in the back. Oh, Hitler's leaving. Nein. Nein! Du bist in der Schwuserwacker! Damit danke. There we go. There's some sounds for you. Type of V8 sounds. So we've entered back in and everyone's looking around the Cobra and there's a bright fluorescent pink car that somehow got in under our radar. No idea how it could have done that because it's bright pink. Have you spotted it yet? Well here you go. It's got sparkle in it as well. Yeah, how did we not see this? With the arrival of this car, I think it's time to play a game of what's inside your car. On this week's episode we have a Flamingo! But as well as the epic Flamingo, it's also got a single record player. I've never seen a record player in a car, but uh, yeah, there you go. Right, I think it's time to conclude the video because most of the cars are gone, so I'm going to go home as well, wash the car. Actually, no, it's fine. A little bit muggy, but no, it's all right. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for a weekly list of all these kind of shows. Cleaning dead spiders and flies off your car. But for now, thanks for watching.